Okay, number nine. In the figure below, what is the value of 5x minus 3x? Well, let's go ahead and reduce that. That's just 2x. All right, so now let's look and see how we can find the value of x here. Well, we notice that this is a right angle, so this is 90 degrees. We also know that the total degree measure of a triangle is 180. So if we do 180 minus 37 minus 90, that'll give us... Okay, so x equals 53. Now if we take 2 times 53, that will give us 106. There we go. In the figure below, what is the value of y? So we notice that these are a linear pair, and since we know a linear pair equals to 180, we know that y plus 3y equals 180. Add them together, 4y equals 180, divide by 4, y equals 45. In the xy plane below, what is the value of the y coordinate of point S minus the x coordinate of point T? So point S is 1, 2, 3, 4, and then down 2. And t is 1, 2, 3, 4, so negative 4. Then up, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so the y-coordinate of s minus x-coordinate of t, negative 4. Two negatives make a positive, or if you remember, add a line, change the sign. So negative 2 plus 4 gives us positive 2. The circle below has a radius of three. Name a point that lies on the circle. Well, if it's radius is three, well, we see that point zero, zero is on there. And we see that six, zero is also on there. Now, what about this point? Okay, that's gonna be three, one, two, three, because the radius is three. So we've got three, three as well. And then also go down three. 3, negative 3. So all four of those points are on the circle and it will just depend on what choices they give you, which one you're going to check. In the rectangle below, what is the value of C minus A plus B? All right, so since it's a rectangle and they actually stated it's a rectangle, we know that these angles are 90 degrees. So we already know that C is 90, okay? And also, since it's a rectangle, and we know that a triangle equals 180, we also know that A plus B is also 90. So in knowing that, our answer is zero. In the figure below, L1 is parallel to L2. So at least we know that. What is the value of X minus Y? Okay, so if we've got two parallel lines, cut by a transversal, we know that this angle is equal to this angle, right? Because if we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, this line, or this angle is equal to this angle. Also, this angle is equal to this angle. Okay, alternate interior angles. Okay, so now that we know that, we know that this also has a value of x. And since you can see that these three angles form a linear pair, we're gonna do 180 is equal to y plus x plus 38. Okay, there's our x plus y, so we wanna keep that. So now all you need to do is subtract 38 from both sides. So 142 is equal to x plus y. In the figure below, a triangle is overlapping a square. What is the value of a plus b? All right. Well, what we know about a square is that its sides are not only congruent to each other, but they are 
parallel. So let's extend those out so we can see that a little bit better. Okay, so two parallel lines, again, cut by a transversal. But this time, instead of having alternate interior angles, we have these two angles, right? And what we know about these two interior angles is they add to 180. They add an equal 180. So A plus B is equal to 180. Okay, the figure below is not drawn to scale. Okay, so even though these lines look parallel, we can't assume that they are. Which of the following statements must be true? Okay, S is equal to T. No, we cannot state that because we don't know if these four lines are parallel to each other. Q plus R equals 180. We do know that because they are a linear pair. Q plus T equals 180. Well, again, no. We can't assume that. Well, an eight. Yeah. Um, Q equals S. Okay. Now, if these were parallel lines, that would be correct, but we don't know that they are parallel lines. So our answer is C, two only. The tick marks on a number line below are equally spaced. If three is halfway between X and Z, so X and Z and three is halfway, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so four, one, two, three, four, so that's three. Actually, let me put it on top. And Y minus X is 21, so this whole thing here is 21. What is the value of Z? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so 21 divided by seven is equal to three. So we know that in between, their value is three. So if this is three, what is the value of Z? So three, six, nine, 12, 15. So Z is 15. What is the total number of degrees of the interior angles of a polygon? Well, in order to do this, we need to remember our formula, which is number of sides minus two times 180, okay? And if you get stuck, just remember a triangle is 180. So you know it's gonna have to be one times 180, and hopefully you can work back from there to remember it's n minus two, because n would be three, okay? So n minus two times 180, how many sides do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So five minus two times 180. So three times 180. So 540. 